If you want to see how I made this using this, keep watching. This right here, it's the Craig Crosscut Station. It's on sale now through the holidays. I think it's only 40 bucks. Surprisingly, I had a lot of fun using this and I'll tell you exactly why. I set this up last night to prepare for my project today and it took less than 10 minutes. It came in about five parts, three pieces of this, what looks like HDF, um, and then two side wings. Um, for the main components and then these bars here. Everything, the screws were included. It was very simple to assemble. And then before you can start a project, you need to make a kerf cut with your saw. So kerf is describing the width of your blade. And you do that by first putting on one bar as far to the side as possible. You place your saw and just kind of try to get your blade as close to the center as possible and then fit it. These will go in, they will go in a corresponding hole. So once you get your bars mounted, you then bring your saw back behind the crosscut station, push it through this wall. Um, it's about a two inch depth on your saw blade height. And then it just scores all the way up until you pass through the end here. And that's what allows you to call me Grace. That's what allows you to make these repeatable cuts, just sliding it back and forth. I also put some Johnson's Pace Wax on the bars just to help. Um, it is a really fun little tool to use. It's just a miter saw is so much power and torque when you're doing little things, especially like I added dowel to the project. Um, this was way easier cutting dowel. It had good support on the back here and I cut it and it didn't fling anywhere. It just stayed right there, multiple cuts. So I'm a fan. My miter saw cost $400. Not everyone just starting out wants to spend that much, but a lot of people tend to have a circular saw for whatever reason. Maybe you're just a homeowner, maybe your dad bought you something you didn't actually want, but you can put it to good use with the crosscut station because it mounts on these two metal bars. And right after you cut your first little cut through the back part here, and then it scores the bottom plate, you basically have a very safe way to make 90 degree and mitered crosscuts. I think the main takeaway for the Craig Crosscut Station for me personally is that it makes a lot of sense for people just getting started, especially if they already have a circular saw and then their only startup cost is $39.99. And the fact that I didn't even have a plan and made this in 90 minutes uh, it's not going to be winning any awards, but I think it's really fun and cute. So um, if you're just getting started, look into Craig products. They're a great company and they make a lot of good stuff that helps uh, break down some barriers in getting started. So good luck on your maker journey. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel and uh, see you on the next one.